Sorry, camera issues. Hello, I'm Lee. Um, and this is going to be a review, but it's going to be a slightly different review. Um, I'll let you know why. So today I am reviewing Hollow City, and this is the second novel of Miss Peregrine's Peculiar Children. Um, and it's by Ransom Riggs, and this is the hardcover edition. The reason this is going to be a slightly different review is because I'm not really going to talk about the story very much. Um, if you don't want to know a spoiler, there is one spoiler in this video, and it's going to be right at the end, in the last sort of minute, kind of. But I'll, I'll alert you, so if you don't want to see the spoiler, you can just exit out my video when I alert you. So first of all, we're going to talk about the overall creation of the book. So if you look at this cover, it is amazing. I mean, at the top here, I hope you can see that. At the top here is like a really cool design that's on the original, the first book as well. And I think that's really nice, you know, the little skull. Well, it's not really a skull, it's more like a Greek woman. Um, and the chalk writing is really nice. And even the creepy picture of the girl with a hole in her is cool. And when I hauled this, I showed you, but if you look again, behind the girl there's like London being bombed, which is really cool. Um, and then we turn to the back, and as is with the first book, sorry, I think the camera's focusing again. It does that a lot. I'm very sorry. Um, as is with the first book, there's some pictures on the back. This is a really cool dog, as you can tell. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you why he's in the story. And here are some Zeppelins going over London. And here are two really creepy boys who can't be separated. And here is somebody in a tunnel. But I won't tell you who that is. Um, sorry, in a tunnel of, tunnel of ice, actually. Um... And the spine is beautiful. And that, the reason I want to talk about the creation is because these books are amazingly beautiful. I mean... Oh, no. Take the dust jacket off. And look at that. Oh, so good. It's like this kind of old material, but it's hard. It's like some kind of board. It's really hard. Um, and on the front it says, Perplexus animalus. Yes, and it's really nice and blue, and on the spine it's basically the same as the uh, dust jacket. Uh, dust jacket, yeah, dust jacket spine, but it's uh, blue with silver writing, and it's amazing. And let me just show you a close up of that. Lovely. And then the inside paper is like this really nice design. I hope you can see that, and it's not focusing too much. And then you come to, actually also, I thought this was really nice because Ransom Riggs, who wrote this book, is married, well, I don't know if he's married to her, I think they're just going out, but he's with um, Tahara Maffi, who is also an author, she's the author of Shatter Me, Unravel Me and Ignite Me and Destroy Me and Shatter Me or something like that, those, those two of the novellas, Destroy Me and I think Shatter Me. Um, yeah, and this is really nice because he's dedicated it to Tahara, if you can see that. Lovely. Um, yeah, and then like the chapter page, uh, let me show you a couple of pictures. Uh, creepy. Creepy, creep hair. And then the chapter pages are just freaking beautiful. They're all like this, which is amazing. And in the front... You have, uh, let me find it, in the front you have a quote by Dante, which is amazing, and then afterwards you have a peculiar person A, which is like a rundown of all the peculiars, and their powers, and Miss Peregrine is in here, and they, because they also have non-peculiar non -peculiar person A here, which is like... Jacob's dad and mum and people like that. Yes, so that's the creation. Sorry, I spent ages talking about the beauty beauty of the book, but I needed to. 
<coughs> so on with the on with the haul. Like I said, uh, review. Sorry, like I said, there's going to be a slightly different review because I'm not really going to talk about the story. There will be a spoiler, but I'll alert you. Um. <coughs> so first of all, Ransom does this thing, which as a writer makes me extremely annoyed. Um, not because it's a bad thing, but what he does is he writes and explains sentences with such beauty that it makes me hate him. Like, I wish I could write like Ransom sometimes. I mean, I'll give you an example. Like, you can turn to any random page. Okay, maybe not a random page, but I'll find you one. It's like the parts where nobody's speaking, but he's just explaining how Jacob's feeling. Those are the parts that make me really hate him. Uh... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I'm not going to find one. I don't do this thing where people put stickers and stuff in. I think that's weird. I mean, if you're one of those people, sorry. It's, you know, it's not a bad thing, but I just think it's weird. Uh, sorry, I stopped spinning the book. That was strange. But yes, he does that thing, which makes me really annoyed, where he explains things. So, so lovely. Oh. His writing style is amazing, the way he explains action scenes, and the way he explains death, and stuff like this, just incredible. I mean, that's not a spoiler, by the way. That is not a spoiler, okay? It's not a spoiler. Uh, what I will say is, I wish that some of the other peculiars they meet along the way in this book, I wish they'd have stayed with them. You'll know if you read it, or if you've read it, you'll know what I'm on about. Uh, that was one thing I was looking forward to, is to seeing more of them uh, in the third book. But, unfortunately, that may not happen. Um, also, uh, I was excited because we get to meet Miss Peregrine's brother in this book, and his name is Call, and basically they travel to London. Uh, okay. So in the last book, um, at the end, they are trying to escape the lighthouse where Dr. Golem, pardon me, where Dr. Golem is going mental and like trying to kill them. Um, and basically, they do kill them, but Mrs. Miss Peregrine is trapped in the body of a bird by this thing called a white, um, which is like the villains in this book. Um... Yeah, so in this book, they have to travel to London to find all the in-rings, which are the, like, protectors of the loops, which means they could travel backwards and forwards in time um, and stay in one particular place in time forever. Um, they've all been kidnapped, and Miss Peregrine was one of them. Um, but she wasn't kidnapped, she was, like, trapped in the body of a bird. So they travel to London to find the only in-ring that hasn't been kidnapped, which is Miss Wren. Uh, because they're all named after birds, you know, Miss Peregrine, Miss Wren, Miss Avocet. Um, yeah, and they're all named after birds. But anyway, so they travel to London to find a Miss Wren who can hopefully turn Miss Peregrine back into human form. Because the longer she stays in bird form, the more she loses her human form. With me? With me? Okay? Yeah? Yeah? Don't need to rewind the video. No, cool. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit complicated sometimes. Uh, so sorry about that. But anyway, um, yeah, so they do this, they travel to London. So I'm not going to spoil the story at the moment, but they meet, basically, they meet right at the end, literally, about, I think it's only like 20 pages towards the end, they meet her brother, Call, Miss Progress' brother, Call. I'm not going to explain more about that because that would be a massive spoiler. Um... Yeah, but we, we only see him for a little bit. Like, he kind of fizzles out the story at the end, which I found a bit annoying because I wanted to see a lot of cool. But I think maybe in the next book we're going to see a lot more of cool, which will be amazing. Oh, I just can't, oh. The feels for this book, seriously. O-M-G. I want more ransom. Give me Miss Peregrine's number three, please. Please, I want it now. Ooh, I don't think I can wait any longer. I think it's coming out at the end of this year. Because there was a four-year wait. for the, Well, 
three years maybe three or four year wait for this book and everyone was on tenterhooks like I was almost beside myself waiting for this book because I was I wanted to know what happened so as soon as I saw it was in my local vault stones straight away click and collect picked up the next day started reading it on that day I couldn't wait so yes the feels seriously feels I have feels. I have a lot of feels. So many feels for Ransom and Miss Peregrine and Call and the Holocaust and Addison. Oh dear. That's not a spoiler, don't worry. Yeah. So, spoiler alert, okay? This is the spoiler. So, if you don't want to be spoiled as I'm going to basically tell you the last bit of the book literally the last like three pages so if you don't want to be spoiled cut the video cut the video okay so that's enough warning time I think so here we go at the end of the book we find out I'll, I'll read you a bit actually like right from the last page but we find out that not only can Jacob, not only can Jacob sense and see Holocaust, but we find out right at the end he can also control them. Mind blown ransom. Come on, man, what are you doing to me? What are you doing? Now I want the third book, now, right now. So I'm going to read you from the last page. There is also another spoiler here, so you will hear it. Literally from, literally I'll read from here. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm going to read from there. I stooped to pick up the phone. Dad? What was that noise? Who are you with? I'm here. I'm okay. No, you're not. Just stay where you are. Dad, I have to go. I'm sorry. Wait, don't hang up, he said. You're confused, Jake. No, I'm like Grandpa. I have what Grandpa had. A pause on the other end. Then, please come home. I took a breath. There was too much to say and no time to say it. This would have to do. I hope I'll be able to come home someday. But there are things I need to do first. I just want you to know I love you and Mum. And I'm not doing any of this to hurt you. We love you too, Jake. And if it's drugs or whatever it is, we don't care. We'll get you right again. Like I said, you're confused. No, Dad. I'm peculiar. Then I hung up the phone, and speaking a language I didn't know I knew, I ordered the hollow to stand. Obedient as a shadow, it did. What? So A, he tells his dad he's peculiar, which is like, bang again. And B, he can speak to Holocaust and control them. Make them do things. But he didn't know he could do that right until that page. Not until that page, I mean, the previous page. There's a bit. Because in the last bit, basically, they end up back in the present day. They go through a loop, end up in the present day, in a tube station. Um, and somehow, him and Emma, Jacob and Emma, end up in a phone booth. And then a holocaust that was frozen in ice, but is now been defrosted kind of follows them through the loop into the present time but they don't realize um and then yes so jacob and emma are in this phone booth and then the holocaust picks up the phone booth slams it down glass shatters everywhere um uh, this is while jacob's on the phone to his dad um and then yeah and then it picks up Jacob and starts strangling him, and he thinks he's going to die. Um, and then all of a sudden, everything stops, and he's speaking a language that's not his own. And he says to the Holocaust, put me down, now. Well, he doesn't. I think he says, back, off. Like, in a language that he doesn't recognise. And the Holocaust does. What? So yes, he can sense and control and now speak to and what's the word not manipulate 
He can speak to and, like, control the holographs. Ransom, come on. Please, you're spoiling me. So, the feels, the feels. So, anyway, that was my slightly different review of Hollow City, the second novel of Miss Peregrine's Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. Um, basically, this book is beautiful. It's written amazingly. The story is fantastic. And I need the third one right now. And I need more cool. Seriously. I love villains. I don't know why my favourite character from Harry Potter ever is Voldemort. But then I also like Bellatrix. And I like um, Nagini. So yeah, I love a villain. I love a bad character. So I need more cool in the third book, please. And I want to know where Miss Peregrine is. That's what I'm saying. If you've read the book, you know what I mean. Yes, so I'm going to go because I rambled on quite a lot. I've had quite a bit of coffee, so that's why this video has been very, you know, very all over the place. Um, but that's just me, you know? Come on, guys, you know. But trust me, when I've had some coffee, this is what I'm like. My other videos is what I'm like without coffee. So yeah, I rambled on quite a bit. So I'm now going to go and hope this review isn't too long. I mean, I hope. We'll see. Uh, yeah. So this is Thursday. I will see you tomorrow when I'm showing you my Friday Reads book. Because I posted a video called You Choose, which is a way of me reducing my TBR pile by my bedside um, and I show three books and I tell you what they're about and this is like a couple of days before I finish the last book um, and then you guys comment it and choose so Erin from Wrath's Queen, Wrath's Queen sorry, um, chose for me to read a book and I will let you know what it is tomorrow because I'm probably going to start it tonight and I'm really excited <laughs> so thank you Erin I will thank you again in the next video for choosing it. And I hope to see you all again soon. Bye. And also pick up this book, please. The feels, the feels, the feels.